Okay, in this question, we're going to take a look at a trigonometry word problem that might appear on uh, the Leuvensert higher level paper. Um, so Jane wants to calculate the height of a building in her town. The building has a wall around it, so she can't measure from the building itself. She measures the angle of elevation from the top of the 1.5 meter wall to the top of the building as 55 degrees. She then moves out 10 meters and measures the angle of elevation from the same height as 48 degrees. Calculate the height of the building. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to need to draw a diagram. Okay, so let's say this is the building. Now, here is the wall. This wall is 1.5 meters high. The height of the building is what we're looking for, that's x. Now we don't know what this distance here is, let's call that y. I'm going to draw a dotted line here and a right angle. Now I'm going to make a right angle triangle here and Jane has calculated this angle of elevation here as 55 degrees. She then moved out 10 meters and from the same height the angle of elevation has now reduced to 48 degrees. We want to calculate the height x. Okay so we've gone from that paragraph of a problem to a diagram um, and we're going to use this diagram now to calculate this side x. Now one thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a line here and say this is 1.5 and just have x as this here and then when I calculate x in the end I need to add on 1.5. That'll just make it a bit easier for, for me when I'm working. Okay, so let's take a look here. I'm going to start with this big triangle. I want to know what this side here is, x. I know that I have 10 plus an unknown value y. So basically, I want to know the opposite and I kind of know some of the adjacent. So that means I'm going to use tan. Remember, Sokotoa. Opposite adjacent means I'm using tan. So the tan of 48 degrees is equal to, okay, the opposite is x over the adjacent. The adjacent is 10 plus y. Okay, I have a little equation here with two unknowns. Doesn't look like I can really do much with that at the moment. So let's move to this smaller triangle. Now this smaller triangle, I have an angle of 55 degrees, I want to know this side here, I don't know this side here but it is relevant, so again I'm going to use tan. The tan of 55 degrees is equal to x over y. Now a lot of people might start calculating out this tan of 48 and tan of 55 and putting it in. There's really no point in doing that just yet. Um, it's just going to bring in some very long decimals that we don't want to have to deal with uh, just yet. So I have two equations with two unknowns. What I'm going to do here, instead of making simultaneous equations, I'm going to isolate x in both of them. So over here I can isolate x easily by saying x is equal to multiply across by y and I get y tan 55 degrees. Over here I multiply across by 10 plus y so x is equal to 10 plus y times tan of 48 degrees. And now hopefully you can see that I have two things here that are both equal to x. I have 10 plus y tan 48 and I have y tan 55. Both of these are equal to x. So that means both of these are equal to each other. 
So 10 plus y tan 48 degrees is equal to y tan 55 degrees. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to try and isolate these y's to one side and then have something on the other side that has no unknowns. So let's work on that. First I'll have to multiply these brackets. 10 by tan 48 is 10 tan 48. Y by tan 48 is Y tan 48. And Y tan 55. Okay, let's get everything with a Y to one side and leave that there. So I'm going to take Y tan 48 from both sides. So that'll give me 10 tan 48 is equal to y tan 55 minus y tan 48. Okay, I can do a bit of factorizing here. I can factorize out y, so that'll give me 10 tan 48 is equal to y times tan 55 minus tan 48. Okay, I have a single y multiplied by this here, so I can divide both sides by that to get y is equal to 10 tan 48 degrees over tan 55 degrees minus tan 48 degrees. So if I type all that there into my calculator, I find out that y is equal to 34.97 meters. Now, that's y, I want to find x. So in order to find x, I can sub back into this one here. I can say tan 55 is equal to x over 34.97. Multiply across by 34.97, x is equal to 34.97 tan 55 degrees. x is equal to, type that straight into your calculator there, and you should get x equal to 49.95 meters. Now, remember from earlier on, that's just x. We need to add on our 1.5. So that means the building, the height, is equal to 49.95 plus 1.5, which is equal to 51.45 meters. Okay, so... There may have been another way you could approach it. Maybe you could have isolated Y's. This is just the way that I um, would have done it myself. So if you have any questions, um, ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.